I would love to be in a fucking like Big Mac <laughs> commercial, dude. You know, they'd just be like, here's a fresh Big Mac for you to bite into for this Over. scene. Don't oh, they dope, make you be... spit it out or some shit? I don't know. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> like you're supposed to spit. Oh, I forgot. It's just what I do when yeah. I take a bite of something. You fuck. You're a uh, <laughs> you're a method it. actor. Yeah. You really have to get into it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I hear they do with uh, liquor liquor commercials. Is they just get alcoholics. Oh, oh. Well, that makes sense though because. You right. know, that get fucks you up. Right. But it'd be <laughs> hilarious. They should make a commercial where you get you just to see, see the takes. every take. It's like 130 <laughs> takes and yeah. they make them take them, take it to drink every time. It'd be great. Like we watered it down, but yeah. 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 What's your ideal commercial to be in? Like what, what brand? And you get free shit from that brand. Oh, dude. Like Arby's. <laughs> you care about Arby's? <laughs> It's just the funniest I didn't thing know to that say. people still went to. Do Fuck people still eat at Arby's? I I don't see them enough to eat there. But yeah. if I was like looking for something to eat and I saw an Arby's, I would go. I love Arby's. Arby's is great, dude. How many places do you know sell a roast beef sandwich? Arby's. Exactly. I just know Arby's. It's fucking amazing, and they're great. That's because they're so good, and everybody's like, we don't even know how do they do it. <laughs> they can't compete. Is it like fresh? What makes it? What makes Arby's great? Um, it's hot. I don't know if it's fresh. George, is it fresh? No, yeah. it's, it's fast food. Yeah. It's, it's hot. Uh, the it just tastes good. They put that Arby sauce on it. That's fucking fire. It's just good, man. I'm trying to think what brand because I want free shit from it for yeah, the rest yeah, of my yeah. life. I don't it's know. Like, like the first thing is like clothing, but then that piles up, and it's like I just have too much clothes now. Right, right. I don't know. I, I, but like a food place or like a um I feel like you'd like video like if you check, were a GameStop. Check. Oh yeah, that's probably a good one. Yeah. GameStop, that's yeah. the last place I'd want free shit from. Why? I want used games. I'd want like direct <laughs> give me free shit from Sony. I want a PlayStation, a TV and games, bro. Yeah. Is yeah, I guess uh, Sony would Steam? be Steam, Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizzard would be my shit. Ooh. Okay. All right. Free World of Warcraft subscription, that's all I need. Would you tattoo a Blizzard logo on yourself? I'm thinking about getting a Hearthstone logo right here. You're so gay. Yeah. I'm gonna Google real quick. Hearthstone. Hearth. Hearthstone. Hearth. Hearth. H e a r t h. Stone. It's it's super not nerdy. <laughs> There's no magic, no cards involved at all. This, you gonna I mean, get this shit? No, 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 no. Just, shit. just no. The, there's a logo. Oh, the circle. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was about but, to say. But that's so. That's the the trading, the online trading card game is Hearthstone. Uh -huh. But before that existed, the Hearthstone is an item in World of Warcraft, and what that does is you attune it to like an end and make it your home. So whenever you use that, you go home. Uh huh. So I'm. Th it's just like a reminder of home. Your genuine passion for this stuff. It, it always gives us, puts a smile on my face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why, why right there? Uh, I mean, I already have like the D and D stuff here. I was just going to continue with like gaming stuff here. So gaming, 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 gaming probably gaming. family stuff over here. Okay. Oh, you're a douche. Dude, you should get yeah. like, you should get uh, like, a, okay, a black Panther fucking <laughs> rings. You fucking faggot. Shut Those up. Are culturally relevant, Nobody can dude. even see them. You fucking loser. For me. You wear white socks up on top of them that go higher than they are. So They're shut the me. fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. I, my art. My art on my body is personal will. You, when you make a special, you're gonna have to wear sandals so you can I'm show them show off, off. You fucking loser. I'm gonna do a whole bit about him. I'm gonna do a whole bit. And I'm gonna. They don't even the have stool. a cool design on it. It's just pure black. Yeah. Like, it's so fucking it's just stupid. Black. Could have put at least like panther heads around it or nah, something. You fucking just idiot. black. It's a black band. Just black. Someday they're gonna come out and be like Michael B. Jackson. Or uh, that wasn't the main guy. No, no, no. Keep making the reference. Michael B. Jackson. Michael what B. Jackson? about Michael B. Jackson? I want to hear He's about a Michael fucking B. Jackson. Pedophile. Yeah. And then they're gonna <laughs> X the whole fucking Black Panther series, and yeah. then you're gonna have those forever <laughs> and they're gonna be just pedophile bands i can't wait until you get a tattoo of your your last name on your back uh -huh. that, that's full i'm not to i'm never I'm that's not, what I, baseball players no do. i have i have always hated like words or like numerals on tattoos i think it's stupid i think okay all right I'm it looks listening. i just think it's dumb like don't i don't need to i don't want you to read like my quote yeah. yeah i don't want you to read my tattoo just see it i think biblical scripture scripture is probably the worst yeah, that's that's. The, but even the I don't know, like even just like a number. I'm just I don't, don't just don't. I don't want to do that. That's just my preference. Do you not like the whole like biblical scripture or or All any of it. <laughs> every piece of it is fucking garbage. <laughs> it's there's just something corny about biblical scripture. Heck, hacky. With there's also tattoos. something. Um, what's the word? Um, stupid no i like that it's stupid but it's also like you're not supposed to get tattoos as a christian 
Yeah, it's defaming that's, your body. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah, like yeah. against like. It's the Christian. irony. <laughs> yeah, it's irony. Yeah, it's I like if someone gets a tattoo for their grandmother, but their grandmother hates tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're that's kinda, how, I mean, that's most people's like first tattoo is their mom's name. Yeah. And See, I would never do that. Name. I'll get a tattoo to represent my mom, but I would never like put my mom's name or put mom on my because this is fucking it's dumb. I'd get it's a dumb. tattoo to represent your mom too. Yeah, yeah. She's have you get, cool. Have you guys seen? Um, there's a guy on TikTok who's tattooing himself once every day uh, for three for an entire year. He's just doing a dot. No, he's like on. <laughs> I think day one twenty five. Mm, this is what a pandemic does to people. Yeah. Fuck. You know. He could have made bread instead, but he decided to destroy his temple. <laughs> he's like bread. That's weird. I think I think biblical tattoos are weird, especially when they do it. Just it's like Philippians two verse nine. Like I don't know what the fuck. Now that I says. have to go look that yeah, up no, to I'm see what gonna, it means. Fuck I, you, dude. I don't want to read your notes. You don't want to do work. <laughs> Give me the just cliff put notes. It, put put bullet points. Picture book is what I want. Bullets and pictures as yeah. the only biblical reference I'm, I'll accept. Yeah. Like I need a cartoon snake with an apple in its mouth or something. <laughs> yeah. Then it's <laughs> it's a reference. All right. This is him. So he's on. Let's say he's giving himself uh, tattoos. He gives himself tattoos. That's some Pete every Davidson day. bullshit. Oh wow. Okay. Here's my question. I don't need to see anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah, I am done. Podcast over. <laughs> Um, here's my question. Did he have any tattoos before this? Yep. Oh, that's stupid. It's even more stupid then. Yeah, now it's just random. It's not even like an endeavor. It's, it's a just, sketchbook. It's just an addition. I think he just likes tattooing himself. Well, that's fine, but just do it. All right. <laughs> I'm not, whatever. He I'm not impressed by it. He already had, if he had no tattoos and was like learning to tattoo by tattooing himself <laughs> oh, every day, that's fuck. way different. That's super metal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's way different. <laughs> Then like, you're you learning should practice to do on pigskin. Now nah, I got my forearm. I'm yeah, good. yeah. No, I f- let me go fuck up on all these other people and get good, <laughs> and then I'll tattoo. Yeah, of course. Like that's not even an issue. Like that's. I feel like that's normal. Mm. As a tattoo artist, wouldn't you tattoo yourself? Why are you looking at me like I'm a tattoo artist? I'm just. I, I think George will become a tattoo artist eventually. No, he'll no, get bored. No. He's no. he's not a good enough artist. No. He's pretty good, but he's not that good. Uh, I think George could become a tattoo artist if he set his mind to it. I think I could do anything I want. See. But tattoo, that's an annoying sound. <laughs> like, I can't. Like, I don't think you'd have the patience for people that squirm around or get, a, or get like. Oh, I'd hold them down, dude. Strap them down. Yeah. You're in a fucking yeah. mental hospital. I'd sit on their chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neon belly, bro. You're about to get this tattoo yeah, on your thigh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't, I don't think I could deal with the pain or the tickles. I can't, I can't do Wait, tickles. Wait, you don't want to get one? No. You could deal with the pain. Yeah, you could definitely. If I could deal with the pain, you could. You can run 12 miles. You can fucking get a tattoo. It's not the pain. I think it's just there's better ways to spend my time than just being uncomfortable for three hours. Okay. I know what you mean, but there's something. Unless there's season two of Invincible. I'll piss through that (laughs) while I get a tattoo on like my calf where it doesn't hurt. There you go. You just need a TV show. (laughs) Right. There's something that feels earned when you're done. You know what I mean? Like because it was painful and you sat through it, now it's done and it's all. You feel like you earned your tattoo. Uh, I don't know if I feel that way, but I I I, I am always glad I got it. Same. My I never regret. I've pants. never regretted it. Same. Not even my Andy tattoo. Would you get a tattoo yeah. where like you can't? And see if you were it to ever? regret one, that my, would be my it. Andy tattoo. Yeah, that's... yeah, but you could look at your foot while it was there. Well, it's, it's going. Wait, so I'm are you that, asking like if I got a white tattoo? Or like, like, like would you get one on your back? Yeah, like on your spine, no, where like you'd have no. to see. No, is it because you can't see it, or because that sounds fucking ridiculous? It's because I can't see it. <laughs> so you'd, you'd, I want to enjoy the fucking be, things I get. You'd like, be, a, you'd be like Yakuza tat, tatted up, but only on the front. Like. If if <laughs> <laughs> if I got to that point, then yeah, I would do my back, but only because I ran out of real estate. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, that wouldn't be my. Cause like, I know people that have like the thing where it's like their back is ripping open. You see the muscle and shit. So it's like so stupid. fucking gay. <laughs> it's just like I would never do that. I know this dude. He actually introduced me to rock climbing. He's got uh, a tattoo on his forearm. And it's ripping away the skin, but it's robots underneath. It's all fucking metal and machine. It's so fucking cool. He looks like a T eight hundred. That's that's just the steampunk version of what I just said. And but it's I'm, cool. I'm not okay it's with cool. it still. Ugh, it looks. It's impressive. It looks it's an, cool. It's an impressive tattoo, but it's Stupid. it's so common almost. <laughs> like it's it's almost hacky. 
<laughs> I'm going to have it rip actually. my skin away, and there's just going to be, like, space. It's going to be an abyss of that would be kind That of would be That would be actually really <laughs> cool. That would be cool. I think the fact that it's a robot or Superman makes you feel like a... It's douchey. There's something yeah. about that, but... What if it's Aquaman, and you look like a bitch? <laughs> It's just like decaying bones. It's just black, like fucking. It's a note on the bone that says, shouldn't have done this. I should not <laughs> have done this. I would put one on my back depending on the flow, like the decision of why I'm doing it. Mm. Like every every area. Did you get a... angel wings for like your grandma when she dies? Yeah. And they're going to be little. Some of the feathers are going to be falling off. It's going to oh, be beautiful. It's adorable. Yeah. They like, go down to your butt. Mm hmm. Go down your legs. She would really appreciate that. And it just gets really slutty when it gets to the back of your legs. And you get those bow tie things that oh sluts God, get. The fu- bow tie is the new tramp stamp. Oh, yeah. I'd say I would so. Say so. Oh, you yeah. mean, you're talking about the back of the thigh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There's those always are. a new tramp stamp. It's, uh, but that does sound, sound fun, doesn't it? The bow tie? Yeah. Like to look at it while you're having sex. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because something it's an interesting thing to yeah. see. I'm lazy, so if she's on top, I can't see it. It's whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I'm ugly, so the lights are off. I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Glow in the dark tattoos? Are those a thing? Yes. Yeah. You can't see I've them. I've heard they're painful, and they're you have all. to get them redone. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, you have right. to get them like done every so often. I've yeah. also decided I'm not doing the lip thing. Oh, wow. wow. What came to that conclusion? <laughs> <Chicago>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> doing the ankle. You brought it up to another black guy, and they're like, dude, don't. don't you know, he was like, like this? Yeah, this is gangrene, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gets infected. <laughs> you, I don't know if you felt this when you were getting, in the beginning of getting your tattoo. It's like, oh, okay, this is all right. Yeah. And then as it keeps going, you're like, oh, oh. Oh, this kind of sucks. Yeah. After like halfway through. There was a point where I just couldn't stop. I couldn't look anymore. Yeah. I was just like, I can't. I, can't I, I hadn't gotten a new one in a long time. And then this, the ankle thing was like a big piece. It's like actually a lot of skin when you think yeah, about well, it. That, that, that would suck. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, it, it's, oh. it's not even like a design. It's just straight. Yeah, just giving pure. me anxiety. I'm going gonna, gonna to wait till they have like an adhesive version. Where they, yeah. You just wear this for three weeks and then, and then it, it's it permanent. It just your seeps skin. in. Yeah. I don't see why that's not. <laughs> I, it amazes me that it stays as like I don't Forever. get yeah I don't get it it doesn't make sense to me it's like well I thought like our cells regenerated like that doesn't make sense to me it goes like like they oh, fuck my mom I explained it to me <laughs> to where like it goes under like yeah. the layer of skin that gets mm-hmm. yeah. constantly but then you can also so. do it too deep and then it's it'll come out looking weird or, like spread yeah oh, that makes sort sense, of. Yeah. It, like, because it'll bleed and I'd stuff. I'd be so mad. If I got a tattoo and they fucked it up anyhow, oh, dude, I would fucking, I'd burn that whole place down. Yeah. <laughs> gasoline, like, in the middle of the day, just burst in with gasoline and just start. <laughs> yeah. But, but you would have to take all of, like, their, um, their disinfectant and their bandages because <laughs> you got a brand new tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, if yeah. you're going to burn it down, you might as well get supplies. I mean, I have Aquaphor and, uh, and Gold Dial. That's really all you need once you get it done. What's your next tattoo? Probably Hearthstone. But like, a, not not a little thing, like a big one. Like, what do you want that's like a piece, not a... Uh, I've never thought like that. Mm. I kind of just want to get like individual Same. ones. Same. Yeah. I, I still want you to get like a controller on the back of your hand, like your favorite. I've actually been thinking about getting like the PlayStation buttons right here. Oh, that's dope. You like that? Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I mean... In the wrong hood, that might mean different things. But, <laughs> but if it's colored X, uh, or sorry, cross, O, yeah, triangle, fucking square. Fucking assholes. Cross. Wait. Oh, we've talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's, that's dumb. You should do that, and then you should get the QWERTY and then the arrows. On, on. Oh, WASD? Yeah. What is WASD? For, like, that idea. like when, when you play games on the computer. When you use a keyboard, WASD are the arrows for your left hand. Instead of uh, using the arrows down here, interesting, because you're using the mouse, you don't want to be like this. Right. It's over here. Nice. I mean, And, and then this all is going to be your family. The other side. Yeah, yeah. For, well, I mean, except for that PlayStation one that goes there. Gotcha. But that's Why family. Put it on so, the opposite. Because the buttons are on this side. Okay. When you're holding right. the controller. You, you've thought this through. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, my next one, I want it to be like... It's gonna be Avatar: The Last Airbender related, oh and my God, uh, dude. get the fuck, fuck you your with fucking your remote Nickelodeon control show with your fucking remote control goddamn tattoos on your hands. I want to get. At least mine's current. Your shit's been over for ten years. No, no. You gotta wait another ten, and then it's current again. <laughs> <laughs> I think are they making um like an Avatar Studios in Nickelodeon where they're gonna pump out a bunch of series from it, which is a kind of upsetting to me. I feel like let something amazing just be amazing and leave it alone. I don't alone. know. I mean, that's how people felt about Legend of Korra when it first got announced and then 
is legit. I started watching that. I, I couldn't get through the first season. Is I think the problem with that <laughs> series is that it ages. It aged with its audience. The people that watched uh, the last Airbender were of a specific age, and the gap between that and Legend of Korra is where everyone grew up. And so those same people watched Legend of Korra, so it was relevant to them. But like as an adult now, the themes in in LOK uh, aren't really they don't really fit your lifestyle, you know, because it's more about finding your place in the world and and not letting coming society. of age stuff. Yeah, but yeah. You, we've already come of age, so it doesn't bang as hard. Oh, some of us have. Yeah. I feel like I'm still trying to transcend that. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, I was about to say you seem you seem you. <laughs> I think this is pretty. This is peak Henderson. Yeah, right here. Thanks. Nah, he gets angrier and crankier later. Oh, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. There's no doubt. You're gonna have a stoop one day. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I can afford a stoop. You're gonna someday. sit out there, smoke blunts, and get mad at kids that go by yeah. on yeah. actual hoverboards. Get off your hoverboard. <laughs> with your <laughs> your club cane, yeah. <laughs> boom! Did you have a stroke as, in in age? Can you say that again? <laughs> Get off my hoverboard! <laughs> and I shoot him with my laser cane. <laughs> set to stun. Yeah, there you go. Oh, those don't get set to stun. Oh, uh, word! <laughs> just kill old people. Just get to kill young yeah. people in a uh, pimp a cane. Yeah, you don't future. get a stun in a pimp cane. That's fair. You get a a beat and death. Mm. A beat? Yeah, you you can beat that. Oh. That's one setting, or death. Uh, I'm too old to beat people, so I guess I just have to kill them. Yeah. Or you can use a, a conobo. Have I told you guys about this conobo thing? Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> a conobo? It's basically like this this giant wooden paddle. It's a Japanese weapon that it's used to uh, dismount mounted uh, forces and units. And it's like samurais on horses. Oh. It's this big ass. It's like it's like a an oar with metal studs in it. Ow. <laughs> it just boom. He takes out horses and uh, samurai in one go. It's Jesus huge. fucking Christ. Yeah. So what? it's not like a bow, like a no, boom. no, no, no. It's like a staff. It's oh, like a wooden that, oh, staff. I see. I see. Okay. B uh, oh, bow. How did you stumble upon this murder weapon? I like weapons. And <laughs> Japanese shit. research. Yeah. You know, honestly, th- twice a year or so, I go to like martial arts websites and it's like, I got money. What do I want? But this year, it's if I want a lightsaber. <laughs> That's so. what you spend your extra sometimes, money on. Sometimes, <laughs> look. Do you have martial arts look weapons? The fuck around, dude. No, I, I have other things that uh, usually get on my impulse buy. But yeah, no. Sometimes I just want stuff. I feel like you definitely go to the knife store in the mall, Jay. No, those are garbage knives. Really? Yeah, yeah. The steel they use is terrible. How, how, okay, how do it's you It's not Valyrian know that? steel. Yeah, it's not, because it's not Valyrian steel. It's bro. not Valyrian steel. <laughs> All right. As simple as that. Clearly, you need because Valyrian steel. Because most steel that you buy is like stamped and stuff, and there's certain kind of properties. Like, I do think that there is a, a level where lo- knives and stuff get ridiculous. You can spend $1,500 on a, on a Microtech switchblade or, no, or, or a spring loaded thing, but it is, it's going to last you forever. It's going to hold its edge. Oh, have you seen those those videos of those white dudes, um, like chopping rope with knives? Yes, that's that's they're not testing necessarily the knife; they're testing the the edge. So what they're doing? I thought is, it was a competition. It is a competition, but it's it's for metal metal work. It's not they're not professional knife handlers. Oh, they're they're people that craft their own knives with quality steel. So what they're doing usually showing off. is showing they'll they'll chop into solid wood like oak with their knife and then they'll chop a rope piece which if you, it's not sharp it's not going to go through the rope it'll push the rope away so it's they're showing you what kind of damage they can do to this knife and it'll still hold its edge so those shitty mall knives you'll get maybe if you stab someone three three good stabs that'll go right in and come right out and then it'll get dull but if you spend four hundred dollars on a knife you can stab motherfuckers forever dude my question is should it matter if it's just for decorative reasons? How many? How how how, how many, many? How many lives <laughs> equal four hundred dollars? <laughs> like how many people do I have to kill with this knife to make how it worth it? How many buckets of blood <laughs> should you be able to drink before you're like, this is the this is the knife? Two. It's, it's two ma- buckets it's, of blood. It's, it's, so how many people is that? <laughs> Uh, Four depends. bodies. It could be like hundred dollars a body. Could What's be six a- children. You know, it depends on how big. <laughs> <laughs> so it's based on mass, is what you're telling Essentially, me. Essentially, it's yeah. it's it's more so on the like blood bucket idea yeah, is a better yeah. measure. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs>
So okay, so you you want it to be of quality mm-hmm. because you want it to be of not to actually stab people. Well, it's also quali- like they're expensive knives because it's hard to mass produce quality metal like that. You want it to be able to cut through your seatbelt when you're underwater if you have to. <laughs> On the moon through your fucking space suit, yeah, dude. Yeah. That makes sense. Like some of these are sharp as fuck. So definitely don't take it in space. Yes. No, take it to space. No, that sounds like danger. That sounds okay. like you open it the wrong way, you you're fucked. Okay, but if you open it the wrong way and there's an alien in front of you, bro. Hello. Hello. We think on some different wavelengths. <laughs> You don't think there's something on the dark side of the moon that you need like a laser gun with a bayonet on it? No, I don't. Could you? Make- I saw <laughs> Apollo 18. That shit was garbage. Did you see that movie? I almost saw Have it. Have you seen it? I almost saw it. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Just the world you live in. George fascinates me. It, I think it'd be cool to have a bayonet on a laser gun. <laughs> just like in Gears of War. Do I need a chainsaw yeah, on yeah, my gun? Yeah, but it just can't no. be no ordinary bayonet. It has to be like right. made it of like to, comet steel no, or something. Be, like, that's not good stuff. That's what? Not good either. It's, not. it's from the they stars. Have, what are you have, talking they about? They have knives made out of like meteorite material, uh-huh. but you always have to smelt it into quality steel. Well, yeah. So, it's not good night. Anyway, well, I don't know how we even you, what happened. We're gonna talk about swords too. You guys want to talk about why katanas are the best? I didn't Let's even go. know there was a difference between. Uh, well, obviously <laughs> katanas are the best. We know that. I mean, okay, what is a a broadsword? Is like what knights used when big... bitches talk shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the broadswords are like the two handed weapons that like, like a great sword. Big, yeah, 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 or a, like a short sword. I guess. Uh, is a broadsword a for lack of a better word, a broad term for like the standard, yeah, like general, a European, yeah, straight, European style straight edge sword with um, the things at the bottom. Yeah, and they they'll usually Hand hilts, hilts. Wow, ah, nice job. very good. Give me right. five. Hey. Yeah. All right, podcast over. <laughs> <laughs> Eric said hilt. It's done. <laughs> yeah, those are the broad swords, and what's in? I just think it, swords are interesting because they're they're technology, and they're more indicative of the culture and what they valued and stuff. That's why I like weapons. Mm, okay, yeah. Like, it shows how they fought. Like, yeah, what how they, they fought, yeah. what their armor was. Like, you get a lot of history in a sword. Like, if you look at like the uh, the the Viking Ufberth, like those dudes are spit. That's that's a fucking it's Mercedes. A, it's a U with an umlaut. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it probably is. It's it's essentially like the Rolls Royce of a sword, and it's one of those like if if somebody has that in battle, not only did they earn that, like that'll go through your armor. Like it's what? Yeah, like God it, damn. So you it it's like it's indicative of Viking culture where it's like you can be the best, but you better be able to defend it. Yeah. Does the weather that you that a culture grows up in affect the style of weapon? Um, indirectly, I would say yes, okay. because like think about Japan and their overall climate. Like I guess top to bottom, you have a lot of different climates, but for the most part, it's a very moist, four it's foresty, yeah. and and wait, the four seasons though, right? Like they get yeah, a winter, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and there's also like northern where it's like it's only cold in hokkaido and stuff so there oh yeah it would be up that far huh because they're like islands and the resources they're able to gather is from like tectonic plates and volcanic activity because they're an island they can't smelt together as quality steel so they have to work with the lower quality steel and figure out how to make that comparable to a european because european swords in terms of craftsmanship are bar none like they got good steel. They got good craftsmanship. They figured out the technology basically first, like for those broadswords. So if you think about the style of like a katana, that that edge and how they had to make it, I would say yes that the environment did affect how they had to make that sword because now you had to make a sword that was flexible. It wouldn't break, but was also made with cheap steel <laughs> essentially, and it ended up giving you that curved sword thing. But they're also, I mean, we've talked about this. They're not designed to like ting, 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 right, like, right. like broadswords are. It's, and then you put it it's, back. Yeah. I yeah, get yeah. you. Sometimes so, they don't even take it out of the sheath and they're like, pow, they'll just beat your ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to break my sword. This yeah, isn't yeah, worth yeah, it. Yeah. So the the people that made, Vikings, was it, that made the sword you were talking about first? Ufgard. Ufberth. 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 Ufgard. Those people, <laughs> those people focus the, their skills on the technology itself, whereas in Japan they had to focus on the technique of how to use the technology. Yeah, sort of. Well, when you're talking in that sense of like the Ufberth, you're talking about a handful of smiths that learned how to make that type of metal and sword 
There was a lot of fakes, but there was probably 22 people in that area, like along the Silk Road, that knew how to make that kind of steel and that kind of genuine oofbe. Because that a real one, you could bend, it wouldn't break, you know, and I think there's only like four things that are left, like four actual oofbe swords left. Whoa. So. That's and cool. you probably don't get those at the Tyler Mall. You you might be able to <laughs> buy them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think those guys that sell like the cheap knives and stuff, I think they also have good shit. So you, those are probably the dudes you want to talk to if you want good shit. Just in between, they just have them like in the height, in the few and far area. between. Yeah, probably like yeah, they're like just their hidden own, amongst the shitty ones. Their own personal collection, and then some quality stuff as well, because you don't sell stupid shit. Like Dude, selling knives it. is like up on par with like selling Mormon documents. You know what I mean? <laughs> have, you, have you seen that documentary? It's a very specific niche. Dude, have you seen the what? documentary on Netflix? Uh, it's called like Murder Amongst the Mormons, where like there was the, there were these guys that were finding <clears throat> documents of like Mormon um, history. And they were, like, conflicting with the views of the current Mormon church. And so, like, people started killing people because of the information that was in these documents that were determined to be, like, at, like true right. uh, documents written by Joseph Smith. And what were people the documents saying that were so... That it was, like... Will you go out he with didn't. Me? He didn't see... Like, he didn't come across the gold tablets and then there was an angel. It was actually, like, uh, an, uh, like a fucking salamander, a white salamander, like led him to the tablets and then was speaking like it was a different like animalistic style yeah. which is more which is different from like that christian perspective of, like angels right, like right, we don't right. really fuck with like animal right that way uh, so joseph smith is somewhere going no 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 that's not how i had it figured out you fucks <laughs> yeah that's not what's going on what if joseph smith was right but then they covered it up i mean i think they're all wrong so how about that? That works. <laughs> I think, in, I think in all the, of it's bullshit. You don't believe in the, the magical salamander? <laughs> that was invented 115 gave, years ago? If you gave me that, I think I believe it more. <laughs> I, dude, I mean, it's more, <laughs> that's more believable than, than the rocks. an angel. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> Sal- know, the, the magical salamander, I'm in for that. That sounds like a great cult. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're <laughs> all, MS broke. Yeah, but like that's, and that's the thing is it goes against like the Christian views. Of, you know, that's just. Are Mormons considered Christian? Uh, it's a sect. sect uh, I, to don't, be I don't Christian, think they would call themselves yeah, Christian. To be Christian, you have to accept Jesus and his sacrifice as your your sins being forgiven. And if you don't, then you're not a Christian. The Christ in Christian. I'm not entirely sure You have sure to what... accept him as your savior. So, I mean, I think they acknowledge Do they believe in him. Jesus? I believe so. I but, really so but so do Catholics. Catholics believe in Jesus. Like they think he was real, but they don't. He's not their patron saint. Like in Christianity, you can talk to God directly, but in Catholicism, you, you got to go, go through, through someone. Yeah, 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 that always was stupid to me. I agree. I remember getting into arguments in college about that. I have this friend who she's dumb, and obviously, yeah, she knows she's she <laughs> believes in God. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's especially a, a fucking idiot. And um, why are you signing retard right now? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is that's what it is is that the derogatory version uh, yeah we want the fun one bro yeah. this is the derogatory version to to do the like mentally handicapped meant like if if i were to say this but appropriately the political it would be this and then problems like mind problems oh wow Aww. that's great but with the r this is the hard one <laughs> mind problems. yeah do you is want that right uh mind problems yeah yeah, yeah. And then if you want to say fag or faggot, oh, this is, oh, that's great. <laughs> now, yeah, if you guys are missing out. Go to uh, youtubecom <laughs> slash the buddy system. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they have Someday. those signs is really fucking crazy to me. But that's hilarious. I mean, it's not to me. It makes complete sense. Yeah, you gotta have. <laughs> you gotta be able to put people down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no matter what you. The N word exists, still, bro. They're still white, <laughs> so like <laughs> they're gonna want to say it. <laughs> so um, no, I kept I kept asking like, why not just talk to God directly? And she's one of those people who like goes and like can't explain her point and just kind of went in circles. But I was dumb and stubborn, so I just kept going in circles with her. But now I'd just be like, all right, believe yeah. what you want to believe. Well, I mean, that was the big thing of like England becoming like the Church of England versus mm. being Catholic because they there was a, some Protestants that were like, we want to be able to read the Bible, whereas before it was just all in Latin. And the Romans only, were like, no. <laughs> yeah, only read by like priests and clerics, whatever you want to call them. Um, 
So that caused a lot of problems. Yeah, usually yeah. when you gatekeep the Lord's voice or whatever you want to call it, there's our problem. Like that's my yeah, because issue. you have power now. Yeah. And then that creates problems. That's my issue with the Hinduism is the class system. That's why I like right, Buddhism. Right, right, right. Um, the caste. Caste? Is that what, that what they call it? Caste still? or class? Caste. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> the caste of Hindus. We I mean, got technically that. we have it too. It's just not declared. Right. Wait. <laughs> we just call it a socioeconomic status. Yeah. Or redlining is what is more specifically. <laughs> it's a lot of words for a lot of things. Gentrification is oh. just a lot of words for we, we're a lot of words for we don't like black people. <laughs> oh shit! Um, oh oh, fucking oh. Bo Burnham special. Oh. You didn't? Oh, fuck. He hasn't seen it. I know, Dude, it just I know. came out. I've been working all week. Yeah, it just I came know. out. I don't expect it. I mean, I'm surprised. I I had two people tell me about it within 12 hours. So I was like, I should probably see it. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I well, did. I was talking to Zero about it, about like, this won't spoil it, but the difference between an artist that says, fuck all the rules and blasts through it, or the difference between the artist who sees the rules and then works within those boundaries in a creative way. And Bo feels like a guy who does that. Hmm. Like he, he, has the the world set up and he has to work around the world yeah he this special is very mature yeah like very much matured from compared to like what he uh, did in the past yeah um he's clearly like getting older and like changing perspective a little bit which is very interesting mm. so i i i enjoyed it a lot well okay when you guys do stand up would you rather blast through the rules or do you want to work around the system I feel like I tend to work within the confines of what's accepted. I don't think I think about it like that. I I, I generally don't think about it. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. like I don't because I think Bo Burnham's. I think because I've been watching him fucking since his YouTube days when he had like fucking two thousand followers. <laughs> crazy. Because I was trying to make money on YouTube too. But I think he's had the advantage of figuring out who he was early on. And I think his, what we see now is, is just literally just self-expression. I don't think it's rules or, or anything. I think he was like, I want to make this show, and I don't know else, how else to do it. Yeah. So it's, so it's unique. It has his flavor, but it's also good because it's not that he's following all the rules. It's that he's kind of made up the rules for himself. Yeah. He's very creative, and he just he just does what he wants. Yeah. And what he thinks is going to be funny, and he fucking nails it. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you do that by yourself with no audience and crush as hard as he did in that special. It's amazing. It's really good. I've always thought he was very talented. And I was like, it's because you're white, bro. Extremely white. talented. It's, it, it's, he's an outlier. Like, he's, he's an anomaly. He's a phenomenon. Yeah. And as much as we'd like to be, no one at this table is an outlier. <laughs> I'm not as skilled in that. I'm not even that good at driving. <laughs> you know i'm not that good at breathing and i've done that since i came yeah, out bro. I, still, I, still, I still struggle with that i still choke sometimes for no fucking reason <laughs> usually while i'm talking to people <laughs> i'm so sorry i forgot <laughs> how to breathe <laughs> yeah i wish i was that yeah. good at something yeah me but too. i'm not fucking me too it almost makes me not want to try but it's more inspiring than anything. yeah you, i could get both emotions out of that yeah inspiration and deflation yeah. Like when I first watched the is last deflation dance. and then it's inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to embrace that kind of creativity level. Like I don't know how to cultivate that kind of creativity. I usually just stumble through life. I'm like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's also just. I mean, if it's not you, it's not you. And I mean, he's been doing it for so long that yeah. he's just he's just there. You yeah. know, that's just what he does. And I think that's why you see him deteriorate over the course of the special. Oh my. God, because he can't do what he's used to doing yeah and it was he's gotta he's gotta like he has to do something with only input from himself which must drive you absolutely fucking crazy as a comedian when you see the light oh fall. my god <laughs> oh yeah that was hilarious i loved that i yeah. i, 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 yeah. I yeah. it was like oh did you have the cameras on all the time also what i thought was holy shit you made so much you don't have to pay for a venue. Yeah. You don't have to pay for a crew. You don't have to, like you just buy the equipment and just your time. Yeah, like you made so much money. I mean, that's what uh, that's how I felt when Hinchcliffe dropped his, yeah. his thing at yeah. the Ice House. One camera. I was like, damn, dude. So you got paid for the set, and then you got paid for the set. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was that what happened? I didn't. I didn't see this. Tony um, Hinchcliffe, a couple of years ago. Oh, it was like probably like five, six yeah. years ago. Now he uh -huh. put out a special that was filmed at the Ice House where it was just one shot. Like he was outside smoking a cigarette and the camera was following him and then you hear his name be called and then he walks in 
and it just follows him on stage and then the camera like moves around the room as he's telling it's re- it's actually really well done for okay. what it is but i will say it's hard to pay attention to the whole time yeah I agree. without edits i agree Okay, so the camera moves. The key. He yeah, doesn't just yeah. put a fucking... No, 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 He doesn't just record how we all record no, our fucking no, set. No, right, like right. I, in my head, we I don't like, put oh, it on someone's table and be like, hey, can you watch this for me? It's <laughs> it's it's artistic for what they did. Okay. Um, it was well done for what they were trying to do. Right. Um, I, and from what I heard, like with the the story of it is that he wasn't even really planning on it necessarily. Yeah, like somebody no. kind of showed up to the ice house with a camera and... They were like, hey, let's do this. And then he filmed it and then sold it to Netflix after. And then lic- he didn't sell it. He licensed, licensed it to it. them for a there couple years. And now he can resell it. Nice. <laughs> so it's on Netflix. No, yeah. not on Netflix. No, anymore. no. I think yeah. it, so it when, might be on uh, his website. When now. he's no longer canceled, he'll just re-release that. Oh, yeah. He got in trouble? <laughs> yeah. Is he still in trouble? I don't know. All right. Know. He seemed, I, I'm sure he'll be fine. What did you think about that? It was out of context, so I, I, I have no Did opinion. Did you see the full video? Uh, uh, just of him. I didn't oh, see, okay. like, the kid's they, set before. Ari Shafir put out the whole, like, the opener set and Tony's set. What mm-hmm. happened? So, the, what is it? Ping Dang is the... Are we going to say it again? Ping Dang. Oh, okay. Is, it's something like that. It's, this is the guy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along. He, <laughs> So, he did, like, he did his opening set, and he has this portion where it's about, like, stop asian hate like he has jokes about the the asian movement the movement and i'm pretty sure he closed with it to be honest i didn't watch the whole thing because it's like 40 minutes long and i'm not gonna do it but um and then tony comes up and does like what you saw and so it's like i didn't see it oh you didn't see it yeah. do you want to say what he's <laughs> me as the resident Asian? yeah because i don't <laughs> I'm he, was, he was just being generally rude to the asian person on before him in and res- in general, like to Asian people, yeah. In response to like that, the stop Asian hate joke. Like it was just he was just going up and being like opposite of what that guy said. He was trying to be funny, right? <laughs> of course, he was trying to be funny. <laughs> so, but was is it was so? It's like the when someone, I don't know, if someone goes on stage, does a thing, you acknowledge it to transition into your material. Was it was it like a bit. That? It was a bit beyond that. I mean, it was, it was, he did it for a little too long, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. He could have, like, if that's what you're going to do, in my opinion, he's been doing it, what, 7,000 years. <laughs> but if you're going to do that, you get a quick quip, you get a sentence or two. I but I think he went on for a few minutes. Yeah, it, I was, think he it just, was. And I'll I'll say it wasn't funny. Right. It yeah. wasn't funny. Did the audience that, that, laugh? It just wasn't at, funny at in general. At first, it, there was some chuckles, and then it kind of like started to die out. It, was, it just got weird. Gotcha. Um, and... It's like, where's the punchline? Yeah. Like, I'm okay with all this hate and totally fine with it, but it just make me laugh. Yeah, yeah. That the, that was the bit. The main problem with it was that it wasn't funny. <laughs> it's like, if it was funny, right. nobody would have had a problem with it. Um, maybe I'll just have to watch it then. Cause yeah. I, don't think I, I mean, it comes off really harsh. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it comes off really harsh. Okay. That's um, saying something, especially from you guys. Yeah, but I mean... But like I said, I didn't have context for it, so I didn't form an opinion on it. Like, I also understood it was at a comedy show. There's plenty of yeah. pretext that I... It's, and I don't know. It know? was like if someone did a joke about not hitting women, and you went up as the as the next comic, and you <laughs> no, made a little right, quip right, right. about hitting women. Like, that's, like, it's just that same dynamic of, like, right. you just say the opposite of what they said because it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just missed. Okay. Well, that's fine. He's and, a lot to miss. And he just missed in a bad way. He airballed. He didn't like, <laughs> he didn't like, the ball didn't like kind of go in and like loop back out. Yeah, you know, yeah. he fucking airballed and it went out of bounds and the other team got the ball. So, okay. And he wasn't planning to film. Someone was just filming this. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, and on top of that, the opener re- put it out and like gave it to TMZ. And oh. It was like, yeah. It was, it was, it was weird. This is sticky. It become it becomes a, you're kind of trying to get clout a little bit. Right. I mean, yeah, it wasn't cool what he said and like. It wasn't funny, but the fact that you're like calling out another comedian is distasteful. I think amongst comedians for the most part. Yeah, it's who do you, who do your your le- uh, legions lie? What is it? Your where do your legions lie? Where do your legions lie? Allegiance. 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 Where, where does he? your allegiance <laughs> lie? Where false do your <laughs> legions <laughs> lie, sir? <laughs> uh, north of Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> your allegiance are you? Is your allegiance to comedy or Asian people? Right. So is your allegiance to comedy or black people? Comedy. Wow. I think in that context, We're gonna release it is this. comedy. In that, in that context, no. Like, I go, comedy or black people? Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> when I saw the uh, Kramer video, yeah. I remember being like, I mean, it's 
I, I've, I've said terrible things. You've seen me say terrible things on stage because I got angry or I wasn't in control at the time. Yeah. And it's, it's like people don't understand what it feels like to be on stage and to go for it. Right. And miss. Yeah. But I think the only nuance with the Kramer thing is like what else is going on in your life that that phrase was so quick to come out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was yeah, his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, would never be my go-to, no matter how mad I got. I can make you pretty mad, man. I would never call you the N-word. Not Aww. on stage. In a, in a way stage. that was meant to hurt you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> It's t- it's tough because I just I just think about I guess Kramer's different. Be- these guys are different because they've been doing it so much longer. When mm. I'm thinking about myself doing stupid shit, thinking like two years in, having no idea what I'm doing. But I mean that was Kramer's problem as well, though, is that he w- it's not like he was stage sharp. His stagecraft wasn't on par. He wasn't doing comedy. Did and he it's do like- comedy before? Seinfeld? I, I, from what I hear, a handful of times, but oh. he, he's not a comic, and it's like oh, what we right. were seeing was a it's, new comic it's not freaking like, out It's on not stage. like Kevin James. Yeah. Like, mm. you know, not being able to handle his shit. That would be surprising because he did comedy for so long and was so good, right. and then went into sitcoms. Right. Yeah. Came back. Did you see his newest special? That, I mean, oh. it was a few years ago, but it was really good. Nice. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Money fucks people up, though. That's true. He's, you know, he's fucking rich as shit. You know who I wish would make more quality stuff is Adam Sandler. I enjoyed his Halloween, his Hubie Halloween. I didn't see that one. <laughs> it, it was like a. I I I like the Western one that he did. The um the ridiculous eight or some bullshit like that. I thought that was Seth the uh, Family Guy guy. No, nope, that was Adam Sandler. Chris, but you're thinking of a million I, ways. Yeah, that. I never saw that. Mm, I hear it wasn't that, that one on too long. Oh really? It was 45 minutes too long. Oh, you. Yeah, I, should have I, been a short film. I'm going to rephrase what I want from Adam Sandler. I want to see Adam Sandler make more stuff that's geared towards me and not George. <laughs> you want more well, like uncut gems. Adam, yeah. Adam but he Sandler, didn't make that. Adam Sandler has like a, a filmography of like independent films and short films and stuff where he gets he displays his his acting craft and his stage chops. Like there's one where he I don't know remember who the other dude is, but he's basically um, like a busker, but he's one of the the robot buskers. He's painted silver and stuff. And then there's another busker that comes onto his corner and. There's there's no like setup. It's two dudes like interacting as buskers like get off my thing, you know, you're at my thing and then he they both kind of live these parallel lives where they're both angry at each other but they both go home to the shitbox place and they're the same person and it's like a 18 minute short, but it's one of the most powerful shorts I've seen just in terms of like the the production, the the themes and and how it's shot just it's fantastic. Mm. I I don't think Adam Sandler gets the clout he deserves, but I don't think he wants it either. Because he still does plenty of those things, and he's fucking great at it. I I would I agree minus the plenty. I I would love to see more of those things. And but if he's if he's if Adam Sandler's happy doing what Adam Sandler does, he doesn't give a fuck about what my and opinion is. Happy Madison Productions. He's, he seems pretty happy as a guy. <laughs> he's the Dr. Dre of fucking movies. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Really, he is. And he did that murder mystery one with Jennifer Aniston was fantastic. I didn't see that one. <laughs> that was good. Did I think he, he yeah, I think he only does movies to do movies with Jennifer Aniston and to go on vacation. He said that. In Hawaii. He says yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Fucking oh, brilliant. He's and amazing. give his he's, wife a job. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, so smart. Fun. He's so smart. He's a smart guy. I just on a personal wanting to see I love Uncut Gems. I loved it. And yeah. so I would love to see more stuff but like that. But that wasn't but. his movie. He was just he, he just started made that movie as that, an actor as an actor as the person that got that role yes but he didn't create no he, he did wasn't not create like, yeah it he wasn't, wasn't a happy... he didn't write it he didn't you know right right but did, same with um was it Paul Thomas Anderson uh uh where he's in the blue suit who's Paul Thomas Anderson he's a, do I know him he's a director oh um, no, never mind don't, uh, don't <laughs> punch <laughs> punch drunk love is he punch oh drunk love? yeah I That's didn't a, like that one oh huh. all right. <laughs> That's why you don't have black or, bands wait, tattooed on your wait, leg. Wait, maybe I'm, he did another one. Spanglish? Was he in that one? Yes. I didn't like that one. I don't know if I ever <laughs> saw. I don't know if I ever saw the one you're talking about. Lo- Punch Drunk Punch Love. Drunk I don't think Love. I saw that. It's good. But Spanglish was like, I don't know what's going on in this movie. Was it because it was in Spanglish? No, it was just like it was just a story about him with a kid and a wife, and I don't know. It was just this movie. Yeah, I don't think I saw that one. I know. Yeah, oh, I did yeah, yeah. see it. I think I saw it on a plane, though. I don't think those count. <laughs> but those weren't his movies. No, no. So I guess, I guess, I, I guess he's he reminds, he's like Tyler Perry. 
where Tyler mm-hmm. Perry is not a good director and he's not a good writer, but God damn, he's an actor. He's like, he's mm-hmm. a real actor and he's good at spotting talent. I think Adam Sandler's great at spotting talent and being an actor, but I don't think he's a great director or writer. Hmm. And these are my opinions. Interesting. I think that comes with like just coming up in, in not necessarily just stand up, but like in a comedy s- side of entertainment where like for some reason we're the side of entertainment that gets overlooked and we have to do everything ourselves. Yeah. You know, it's like it's difficult to get a manager as a comedian. But if you're an actor, people want to fucking manage your shit. So as a comedian, we have to wear so many hats. You have to be fucking sound producer. You have to <laughs> be, you be your own host. You have to be your own businessman. You have to get your own shit. So it's yeah, a very it's changing independent. There's, there's a lot more money in comedy recently. So when do you think people are flocking? in the wrong places? And, yeah, but people are flocking to comedy as far as. I think because of this, the bar is so low. The entry bar for comedy yeah. in, is the lowest. Bar. You literally walk into a bar. <laughs> you, you all you have to do is know how to kind of spell your name. Yeah, you don't have to spell it right, and a lot of them don't because yeah. you guys can't write. But, <laughs> and so, like it, when when you go to like a music open mic, that takes work that you had already had to put in. You know, you have to learn that instrument. Right. But in comedy, <clears throat> you're just like that looks easy. Yeah. I talk shit with my friends. I'm I would do it. I I'll go up first. I'm I funny fun. with friends. Yeah. You know what? I'll just have three beers before I go up. I'll be fine. Any new <laughs> comics that are listening, this is how we perceive you. Um, yeah. I, unless you're Luis Garcia. Unless you're Luis Garcia. I, I really like Luis. Um, Why don't you fuck him? Shout out. He he's under age. To our podcast. No, no, he's not. He's uh, of age. He's, he's of, of consensual age. age. Oh. He's of consensual age. <laughs> yeah. I'm not oh, saying so fuck so him in a bar him. bathroom. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, why not? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, he's the, still like three months in. Like I feel like he deserves. No, he's that been treatment. it for a couple of years. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Listen to him. You can hear that know. he's been at it for a little while, at oh. least two. I guess you, you you're the late host though, so I don't know if you've seen him. You don't enough. see him often. I see him like half the time, probably. <clears throat> I'm usually like Greg's always going, "Hey, George." He's fine. Just we'll let him through. It's it's okay. Greg terrifies me, dude. Oh, is that his name? Dude, yeah, our security cool. guard. Yeah. He's cool. He's, he's, he's super, super cool. dope. And he's super nice. He's super nice, yeah. but I'm pretty sure he looks like someone that's murdered someone already. Mm. And he's hiding from, like, he knuckle bumps me, and his, that shit hurts. His knuckles are made of steel. Yeah, I'm like, dude, can we high five? Like, stop it. <laughs> oh, no, it would snap back if oh. you high five with him. Uh. He's, he's, what it is is he. He makes me feel safe. I'll say that. Yeah. Don't fuck up at my mic. Like, <laughs> but any, yeah. anytime someone does something wrong, that is like when someone went through the back and we didn't know they were going to come through the back and he came out and was like, hey man, don't, you can't let people go through. I was like, I, 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 yeah. try not to cry. I'm so, yeah. my, bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't mean to make that I didn't happen. know. Right, I didn't yeah. see. <laughs> like, he's one of those guys where. If you're, you're like, hold on, let me get this comic off. I'll tell everybody right now. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I'll bring him off. I'll put him back on. But like, you want the mic? We'll give you the mic. You can just you can just tell everybody, and yeah. I think they'll listen to you better than they will me. He's one of those guys where if you're alone in a room with him, you better hope he likes you. Yeah, and, and he probably does though. That's it, the thing. That's like a, everyone thinks uh, he's. I like, mean, you <laughs> probably just shouldn't piss him off. That's different. Like I feel like you can be neutral with him. Yes, and like he won't kill you. But there's <laughs> like, something scary about being around a guy who who can just. They could just kill you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's that quiet confidence. Like, I don't want no trouble. And those are my favorite people. Yeah. <laughs> those are the, the you're in my zombie party. Like, if, if the world goes to shit, yeah, I'm gonna guy. go pick you up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that guy will be on his own, though. He won't need anybody. <laughs> Probably in his yeah. fucking Corolla with the windows down and just like just have mines bang. planted around it. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> Goddamn. Barbed wire fence just yeah. around his Corolla. <laughs> But what I, a great holdout! But I mean, that's the that's the kind of security you want. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. No, he's 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 solid. I'm thinking about Takashi Six Nine right now. That's, that's weird. <laughs> super weird. <laughs> I'll let me connect the dots real quick. I was thinking about security. That's a lot of dots. Yeah. Then I was thinking about uh, that Takashi has to pay security. And I was thinking, man, those guys must be really good because he's still safe. Yeah. Would you yeah, guys? Yeah, that's a good point. Because <laughs> other people would probably pay them way more to not make them safe. <laughs> would you like, guys show up to like? You know, let's say you're, you're you guys are comics. You're working comics. You go to like the Laugh Factory. You know you work. You're at that level. Would you show up with security? Like you made a movie maybe, and you're you're famous, but you're not super famous. Would no. you show up to? No. Or like with an assistant. If you show up with security, that brings more attention to you. You got to. I don't it. know when you get to a certain point, but you way, need it. Like, like when you're Kevin Hart level, 
<laughs> yeah. you need it. But what you're talking about, just working comic. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Joe well, Rogan I mean, doesn't take security to clubs. But I was going to say, like, I, I... That's a good point. That's a good point. I've seen Kevin Hart at, at Burbank. Like, no security. That you know oh, of. That yeah. you know of. I mean, his entourage was in, in the green room. Like, I went in the back because <laughs> I wanted to see. And uh, there was maybe four dudes in there, like, hanging out oh. in the green room. While Kevin was on stage, I mean, maybe they're security, but they're definitely just his friends. So. I think. Well, that was definitely different in Ontario. I'll tell you that for a fact, bro. <laughs> it was on lockdown. Was it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I could. I couldn't go back there. No, that's crazy. Yeah, I think he has. Uh, you know the the government agents in Invincible with the invisible watches. Oh, uh, that they just wait. Yeah, in, I think in, he has. I think he has those guys walking around. Well, I mean, I don't know. You've been to Burbank, right? Mm-hmm. It's just it's it's such a it's so direct from <laughs> the the side room to the green room. It's yeah. like all you got to do is look around the corner. Yeah, there's <laughs> not like there's nothing that stops you. Yeah, from going I remember the first time I went there, and there were like we had to sign up at the front bar, and then they'd walk us to the the little fuck. What is it called? Baby room. The Yuhu room, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they'd room. walk us through there. And I'm like, maybe you shouldn't have people just walk to your kitchen without like non slip shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was very odd. And then. Oh, yeah, especially like rich comics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bad idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. And they're like, yeah, the stage is right through the kitchen. I'm like, what? I'm a working comedian. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, when you walk past your hot ass frying pans, dude. Yeah. Something would have to happen before I got security. I don't think I would. Uh, it seems like a waste of money. Because <clears throat> like at the I'll ice house. I'll just take George everywhere I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> at the ice house, you don't need security. You just park right in the front. This is my good. opener slash right. security. There you go. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, all right, fuck Asian people. <laughs> fuck Filipinos. <laughs> fuck Japanese. And then you just have to like. Hawaiians It just becomes cool. a kung fu movie where my bodyguard <laughs> fucking kicks all the ass of the Asians in the crowd. <laughs> no, I'll start making like sound effects while you do your set. <laughs> On my punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> I'd make that charging Street Fighter sound too. <laughs> Here comes the boom, baby. <laughs> your finisher better be strong, dude. Uh, would you ever bring security? <clears throat> Fuck yeah, dude. If I could afford it, you goddamn mm-hmm. right I would. Right. No, in all honesty. I'd um, have volunteer security, that's what I'd bring. I would need to be like really weirded out before I did that. Yeah. I've talked to Bob Saget before about like the weird encounters that he's had with fans and he doesn't have security and you'd think like mm-hmm. <laughs> if Bob Saget should have security because people are weird. Yeah, yeah, and he attracts weird people. Yeah, I yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bob Saget. Yeah, he's what cool a- though. Yeah, what a interesting man. Yeah. He's very interesting. Yeah. Is he nice? Yes, he was nice to me. Uh, okay. Um but he he was he was only talking about himself. I'll say that. Okay. He has the right so, to do so. He yeah. was on a sitcom. He doesn't care about me. He shouldn't. Yeah. What is I he going to talk to every like door on, guy? He was on the sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was different than like <clears throat> someone like Fluffy who like genuinely talks to you about the club right, and just right, like right. different stuff. It's really cool. I think that's also why I wouldn't bring security if I'm like going to work out some shit. Cause like I've, I guess I would feel at home. Like this is where I've been, you know, like these people know me. If mm. I show up to this mic, this is work for me. Yes. I've done a movie, but most of the comics I respect here don't give a fuck because if I bomb, they're still going to make fun of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you just bring your security saying. and then put a wall in front of you if they make fun of you. I have me. I am security. Okay. Yeah. I don't need shit. That's I'm going to bring my katana. I want to see you fight Greg with a katana. I'll fight Greg <laughs> with a katana. If I get to body up with like one of the full armor yeah. suit, like it has to be the, the suit well, that like the bears can attack. That's what I'd need. I need an oof bear then. <laughs> or oof birth. What is it? <laughs> oof birth. Oof birth. How much prep time would you want? Or would you Zero. Need? If he doesn't get prep time, I don't get prep time. But I do get armor. <laughs> you get to don your <laughs> armor. You have yeah. five minutes to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on and yeah. put the straps up. And you get yeah. your fucking, what are they called? The, uh, your, uh, Chain your, mill? No, 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 no. The guy, the dude that helps you put on your armor. A slave. No, no, no. There's a better word for it. Yeah. Um, but that's more accurate. But, but like more... in, in medieval surf? times. Um, fuck me in the uh, ass. Your... <clears throat> Uh, lo- not lord they uh, oh my god uh, your assistant yeah. It's, yeah but it's like a different word for an attorney now <laughs> um what are we playing charades i don't know or what something? the fuck's happening <laughs> like, it's gonna bother me keep yeah, talking look it up 
Uh, the anyway. dude that helps you don your armor. Usually it's like your wife, and at least that's what it was in The Last Samurai. No, it's... It was that other dude's wife. Fucking Tom Cruise, home wrecking shit. Well, you want to wear my dead husband's armor? Here you go. It fits you perfectly. Isn't that crazy that you're the same size of a short, underfed Japanese man? Tom Cruise? I, I watched Mission Impossible Fallout with Bryce. So good. <sighs> so good. That I Knowing that he Squire. broke... Squire. Ah, nice. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't going to figure that one out. Squire. That's, what I was... That's a good name. Esquire is what the attorney name is. Oh, not Esquire? the magazine? No, the word, the term is Squire. Squire. But I was thinking that term, Esquire, was popping into my head. Gotcha. Because they're similar. Sorry. No, no, keep talking about Squires. <clears throat> no, I want to hear you know, about... Would you get your Squire to put on your armor for you? No, fuck that. Do in, it the myself, middle, in the middle of the comedy it. club? <laughs> you can't. That's the point. You need, you need someone to do it. You need someone to put the straps in. You know what we need in the IE scene is a, is a prop comic. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk don't, that into existence. Yeah, Especially don't. as you leave. That's what I want. Dick, <laughs> Suck my dick. I want to come back to you see You know the how guy. the law of attraction works. Uh, it's not immediate. It happens over time. I want to see the guy. I want to come back and then you guys be like, ugh. And then he no, has no, no, a no, no, no. You won't come back. We'll fucking show you before <laughs> you get back. If it happens, we'll show you. Uh, it, what if it's good, though? Would you be bad? Good. Yeah. Because <laughs> you missed out on an opportunity, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, dude. You should start doing prop comedy, George. If anybody could do it, I'm George, not, you could. Totally I'm not do above it, it but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily in my rep. I'll go. I'll uh, go ventriloquism before props. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm a half decent ventriloquist. Dude, even I am. Look at me like even that. when so, even <laughs> even when someone uses like. A phone as a prop. I'm like, ugh. Just you know, this. use your words, bro. There was no. There was that one girl we had at the getaway where she used the robot, and that was fucking hilarious. Until the robot, the robot. You were you there? The, uh, there's this girl. Oh, who, I didn't. I was not there, but I heard about it. She was funny. It, <clears> she if, used it well. If I think if she had interact, because she just let it do everything. Had she interacted with it? If she interacted with it more, I agree. Yes, but that oh, was, it made it like an act. But yeah. it, she, it was just the robot. Doing it was the robot up. doing. It was up. it was her like pushing the narrative, but the robot doing the jokes. But I mean, she still had to write it. She still yeah. had to code it into it. You know, so it's, it's like it's all that very, tells me she can do it. Yes, it's all very impressive. But does uh, she have the stage presence to be able to do it herself? Is the question. I don't think she did at, at the, the time at a cafe. In eight o'clock at night in the middle of Riverside, where no one's going to school right now, like <laughs> it was. I think it was a weird spot for her to try and yeah do it. Like on stage, it might have she might have been a fine, real stage, but yeah, in a fucking cafe, yeah. <laughs> right? And right. there's buses going by, and you can't even hear things. It's the whole. You know, thing. a lot of people complained about that. I was like, when I'm on stage, I don't really notice that. You just work around just, it. It's no worse than Placita. Oh, <laughs> Jesus God. fucking yeah. Christ! Right on <laughs> University. <laughs> <laughs> Prostitutes walking by and shit. God, like, homeless people. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Keeps it alive. It is kind of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, it's 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 a good uh, indicator of how experienced you are. If you can handle it. Not necessarily if you can handle it, but there's ways to mitigate the distractions and, and wait things out. Yeah, just out talk and, louder. <laughs> yeah, you can talk <laughs> louder. <laughs> but it's also, I think it's good, like, you got to stay present and, and listen, but not fixate you know yeah. like if it's if you hear something going by fucking chill out for a minute yeah talk to the crowd you got 30 seconds it'll be gone and riff on it if come you back. can yeah but absolutely. when you're like a year or two in that 30 seconds feels like an eternity i yo that oh wow i okay. fucking open uh this like weird outdoor show for this rapper kid i don't know if i told you about that well this is a rapper kid i know and he wanted to do perform for the first time whatever and i was like all right i'll open for you and try to get an audience because we're outdoors wait you wanted to rap for the first time no he's rapping <laughs> yeah yeah no he he has uh <laughs> i think a mixtape like he he's a rapper that's what he does oh so just tell him to do that right but he didn't he's like he's like 18 he doesn't he didn't know how to set it all up so i'm just oh, well, showing okay. him how to do the shit <clears throat> and i was like all right man i'm gonna perform for 15 minutes try to get an audience for you because this is nobody you're not you don't have any fans and then you'll come up and, and do i thing. do though i'll bring you my fans yeah all, <laughs> all my fucking tiktok fans um and so it, eight o'clock strikes and i'm like all right everybody give it up for good night jake while you're on time yeah amazing yeah and everyone's clapping then it gets quiet. I'm looking around like, Jake, 
still here, buddy? What's going on? No way. And he didn't. He wasn't coming up. And I think He's like puking. He can't. He can't pretend that like he he didn't. His name's not Jake. Well, then, <laughs> do you think was he just standing in the crowd with his hood up and his hands <laughs> in his pockets, just looking around <laughs> for Jake? Where's Jake, Fuck, dude, <laughs> I've been here since seven o'clock. <laughs> My name is Dexter. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was nowhere to be found. And then like two minutes in, which is an eternity when you're. I performed. We were trying to bring the guy. I couldn't go back to jokes. It was been this weird. on the street or like it was, was on it? the stage where I filmed. Oh, like, oh, I remember you posting about the. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah. Redlands at that stage right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so ah, it's awkward. Yeah. And so eventually he pops his head up from behind one of the cars in the parking lot and comes out. And I'm like, I guess he's here now. And they're all clapping. Were you doing jokes after that? Or were you just trying I to I was like, like, where are you? Because it was, it was done. It was like the transition. Had oh, happened. dude. See, after like 30 seconds, I would have been like, all right, I guess he's not coming up. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would have been like. Fuck him. My, you part know? of my equipment was connected. I couldn't just leave. And so. What he, do you mean? He had Unconnected. My, he had my yeah, converter. Uh, What? That's a whole thing. He had it? He was, uh, he was using my converter with the car battery. All I right, showed but, him how to but, do but, the thing. But, but, but you. It was all your stuff. No, it's his equipment. All, all right, was so set up. you take your stuff. Either way, so I would have left. Man, it. What are you talking about? So Fuck he, that. He, he come, bailed on you. He comes. No, he comes on stage like two minutes. You shouldn't in. use his real name. No, no, he's he's a good guy. I told him. Sure. I told him not to do this again. Yeah. And he came on stage and he was like, "Rappers got to come on uh, late." Like in his uh, head, he thought like he had never performed for four before, so he thought like. He's picturing what famous rappers do. Oh, that's hilarious. But there's no music. He doesn't right, have right. fans in the like in his head. <laughs> He's like, I'm building anticipation. Yeah, he thought like this is the cool thing you're supposed oh to do. Oh my god, that's so funny. And dude. I had to explain to him later like, man, you're not famous. Like we don't there's no music playing. It's quiet. It's awkward. You left a comedian up there. Oh my god. For, for nobody. And so there's like these little things that you don't think about until you perform. You know what I mean? No, because it no. doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it's sort of like in that culture. It does, right? And I've seen it in comedy clubs with certain comedians. Yeah, uh, they tend Asians, to Asians. Fuck Asians. Yeah, yeah. They, Japanese. They're s- always not on time. Those Asians. <laughs> yeah. I tell you they what. They never say sorry. They never. <laughs> they never apologize. <laughs> it's, it's like when a comed- a new comic puts leaves the the stand in front of them body. They just yeah. don't even. It doesn't click to them. But how many times have you seen comics walk it to the side of the stage? Like if you've watched any comedy beforehand, but you've you're, seen it. Even in specials, you see it. Yeah, but you <laughs> put it way off to the side. But you're smart. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I shouldn't have given you that. I, but compliment. I think I think it's not even a, an it, intellect. It's an integrity issue in terms of like he, he wants to call himself a rapper. But You're he's so not, Asian. He's not a rapper. <laughs> integrity and honor. It, it is integrity. It's Dignity. like when when new yeah. comics call themselves a comic. Like you didn't earn that. You're not a comic yet. You can do comedy maybe, but mm. you're not a comic. You're not a rapper. You you rap, bro. If you haven't performed in front of people, you haven't tested your bars against another rapper. You have you don't have Whoa. a mix. Like there's things that you need to do before you can call yourself a rapper. Otherwise, you're just an embarrassment, and that's what you saw. It's a little more intense than. Uh... Yeah, look, yeah, good I'm, night, Jake. That's <laughs> some fucking integrity, dude. Do your dude. craft, bro. Like, That's some fucking integrity. Like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't waste your fucking time. You're, you're not, shitting all over this kid. <laughs> you're not wrong, but he... when I, After I told him that, he was like, oh, that makes sense. And now he's learned this thing, and now he's going to move forward with it. He plans on going... I guess. I, I think I'm more sensitive to the crowd of, like, he learned it at the expense of their time. They don't have to be there. No, they you know, don't. and and it's rude and disrespectful, and it's an integrity thing. It's like treat other people how you want to be treated. You don't want to wait for anyone, you know. He, I know, I know what you're saying. In his head, he is wrong. I agree, but <laughs> <laughs> no, in his head, he's completely right. <laughs> in his head, he he thought he was doing the. He thought that is what you're supposed and to, to do. Be, if there was music. Fine. And if there was music, if, if we had background music, like, good yeah. night, Jake, and I could walk off yeah, and just leave it and then let him come on, do whatever he needs to do. But he doesn't under he didn't understand. And then a hook <laughs> comes <laughs> out. <laughs> um, but it was it, it was interesting because watching him was interesting because it, it's like watching a new comic to go up for the first time, but with a slant to it mm. where some of the stuff he's doing, he needs to do what comedians do. He needs to be present. He needs to be interacting with the audience, all that stuff. But then there's other stuff that I could. He was asking me for tips. I was like, I, I'm not a rapper. Like, I don't know. Yes, you are. 
You've come out with two albums. All right, let's please what let's are you not talking about that anymore. Two EPs, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Actually, I think one LP. Yeah, one LP and two, one EP. One EP. That's, that's See, I mean, can, yeah, that's vinyl, bro. Yeah. You press it. Yeah, dude, yeah, you bro. should. That would be dope. Yeah. Okay. Songs written in May or whatever the fuck <laughs> it's called. You fucking loser. <laughs> it's the gay shit. Are we going to do one more album before you leave? <laughs> no. Songs written before Chicago and then songs oh, written after Chicago. Do an album out in September 2022. <laughs> you're gonna if you're gonna talk a prop comic into the IE, I'm gonna talk a shitty album into your future. <laughs> That's all worth it. Worth I would it. love to see how your music style would change going from Southern to, California to Chicago. to Chicago. Me too. That'd be fascinating. The streets of Chicago. It, yep, I'm only on the streets. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those. Air Dude, just rip beats off of YouTube. That's fine. It's way quicker, and you can just fucking Chicago bang beats. out, bang out five yeah, tracks. Chicago beats. Really? You can talk about deep dish pizza. Yeah, I do get how a chai town chai tea. <laughs> I do get how music and art can be affected by the place more. Like that's why I asked about the the um, weapons and different weather. Like going to Chicago and listening to Chicago rappers out there, I was like, oh, this makes perfect sense hmm. whereas like when you're driving to la and you listen to dr dre's the chronic it like makes sense it makes perfect sense why yeah. it feels the way it does yeah so that's interesting i had no point <laughs> i think no that's a good point yeah that's, that's that's a fine point i think my problem with this this uh good night kevin kid is <laughs> <laughs> i'm listening all of it change his name now. is that at this point like, go back to the other ones and just insert <laughs> kevin yeah <laughs> good night alan yeah <laughs> Is that at this point, even with comedy, the the information that you need to succeed exists. Like, if you listen to enough podcasts, you can figure out what to do and what not to do, minus your joke writing. Like, you, you, you can learn the stagecraft by just listening to Ari, by listening to Joe, Tom, about like, oh, we do this, and this is why we didn't do this, and I used to do this, but I'm not going to do that. And it's the same thing with, like, rap and music. Like, you, there are plenty of people who are local and in the scene that are doing these things that you can do and the information is there. And when you don't know those things, it tells me that you're lazy and you don't want to look for it and that you're trying to do this this purest form of, of art, which I respect, but y you can't, you know, like rap in its own self cannot be pure because it is sampling. It is the, Culturally speaking, it borrows from culture in order to exist. So to attack rap and hip hop in that sort of like solo pursuit, especially as at a young age, it makes me think you're lazy and that you're not going to follow through and you're not going to do anything. And that when you're there for 30 minutes, you're wasting everybody's time now. I need to see that you take it seriously so that you're not wasting anyone's time. That's my problem with... Uh, good night, Jake. Good night, <laughs> Salamander. <laughs> I, I really like the word salamander. It's been stuck in my head, and I had salamander to throw it somewhere. Salamander is a good word. <laughs> it's a good word. It's fun to say. There's something yeah. about it. Salamander. It like slides off the tongue. Yeah, salamander. like a salamander. It looks like a salamander. Like a magic salamander. Yeah. That needs to be the new buddy system fucking mascot is a salamander. It's going to be salamander? such a deep cut from one episode. Yeah. <laughs> 37 minutes in. Only Nick Lanny will get it. Well, yeah, one person, maybe two. Well, yeah. actually, I've had people asking about our podcast lately since we've gone a, a, such a, a hiatus yeah well, i think no, so nobody gives a fuck about you no leaving that's here. what i mean i'm leaving so they want to be a they're not even gonna it. notice they're <laughs> gonna be like what this is much better yeah. <laughs> i actually think that i actually think that, that everything's gonna get better when i leave that's cute i'm not gonna tell you it's not i don't i don't work to not make things better constantly so <laughs> it would get better even if you stayed i think it will get better faster you think you're personally holding back the IE? What a fucking narcissist, <clears throat> you are, bro. Your ego, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking check it at the door, yeah, you know? What are you, the God wall, damn. bro? Don't go past the wall. <laughs> the white walkers are out there. What are you talking? You're just calling yourself a gatekeeper? No. I'm I holding everybody back. It's mm -hmm. just me. <laughs> I'm so good, no one can succeed. Yeah. I am the one leaf that takes all the sunlight that no one else can shine. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> but with, with good night, Jake, or Salamander. Good night, Salamander. Um, good morning, Michael. What about him? It <laughs> good morning, Mike is a way better rap name, by the way. <laughs> it reminds me of... Okay, first off, as, as far as his work ethic and what he's going to do in the future, that's up to him. I don't fucking know. 
he he I set him up to do this for the first time. He got his chance to do it. He knows what it feels like. I gave him every bit of information. We'll see what he does with it. But it's, God, I hope he doesn't listen to this. He will <laughs> he will quit immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Better to quit sooner than later if you're not actually going to do That's true. That's true. Um, I don't think he will. He he. It reminds me of when I started trying to run the mics alone before you showed up, and I was running around doing shit and not having any idea. I mean, let's not talk the narrative into me showing up. There were plenty of people there before me. What do you there mean? There were people trying that wanted to work with you before I got there. You know? Yeah, but the those air quotes you just put out there were mean. But I mean, to me. <laughs> they I just they made it worse. They made it even more stressful because they were because you put responsibilities on them and then they didn't they didn't deliver. and they didn't do anything. <clears throat> yeah, so it, I the way I look at him, the way the way I look at it is like he's kind of in the same headspace I was in where I just didn't know. And I know what you're saying. There's all these podcasts and everything you can listen to. But I just wasn't in that headspace. I didn't understand that. And I learned the hard way. And he learned the hard way when he performed. Hmm. Like he wasn't. Was his show bad? I mean, there's only so good it can be in this situation. Yeah, but rappers have this fucking inflated sense of show. No, They're like, yo, I'll fucking crush it, dude. He was very aware. (laughs) He was disappointed in himself afterwards. Good. Good. He was super disappointed. He was like, it just wasn't. It's a sign of a good artist. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. He said that. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. That's what I thought after I first had sex. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Okay. Can you not pick up on a joke? Not not with you. That's why we're all going to blossom when he leaves. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) We don't have to explain (laughs) that we're joking all the time. Any jokes. You fucking autistic shit. We don't. (laughs) Will, it's Asperger's. Please don't be offensive. This is burger life. This is burger for life. Hashtag burger life. Hashtag burger life. <laughs> um, he just reminded Aaron me. Aaron Berg. <laughs> he just. <laughs> That's a comedian in <laughs> on New York City. <laughs> Good night, Berg. Um, but he he just reminded me of that, where like he wants to do well. He learned that that it's not just oh, I make songs and then I say the words into the mic. Like he was not present with the audience at all. He's looking down. At no point did he like engage with them. So he. That, Did people walk? Yeah, there was people that people is frustrating because I talked to him afterwards and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, that was just for my friends." And I was like, "No, you had an audience. Like the, his friends were the closest to the stage, naturally." And so yeah, so he was like fixated on them, but there were all of these people that were around so that kept coming and then watching a little bit, and he could have gotten them all, and then it could have grown from there. But he just didn't. He wasn't in the headspace for it. Yeah, I think. Uh, all right, it's a problem. I, I am a little harsh, I guess, and and if, if I'm a coach, I'm definitely the I'm gonna push you till you break. You're fucking I guess. Bobby Knight, dude. Yeah. Dude, a whiplash. Throw a chair on your on the but, stage. Yeah. While you're... Were you rushing or were you dragging? But I also think I, it's not. I don't think I'm trying to find that one percent with my perspective. Who's out of two? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I just I recognize that everyone can do. Like I said earlier, I think I can do anything I put my mind to. But I think everyone can do. Anything that they put their mind. I disagree. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. <laughs> There's some people that don't have the capacity to do some things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't put yourself around stupid people. I'm around dumb motherfuckers. You're here, bro. <laughs> I'm around dumb motherfuckers. Like a deaf person is going to have a hard time learning to play an instrument. Fair. But I. Okay, I mean, you could do it by rhythm and by memory. Like you could do that, but it would be much more difficult. Now I'm disconnecting from what you're saying because what you're saying has nothing to do with with your body. Obviously, if you lose your arms, you're not going to be able to play guitar, right? So that's not what that's kind of. I what think I'm, I Boston think, Robotics has uh, another <laughs> plan. You're right. You're right, Boston Dynamics, fucking yeah, yeah. killing it, bro. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm. A, I'm just more optimistic on people. I, I would love to give the people the opportunity, but I don't like when it's at the expense of other people. You know, like it. That's where comedy starts, though. I agree, and and there's no real way, but that's why I think you should do as much work as you can off stage, at least before your first. Yeah, time. like you can suck and not waste people's time. Like yeah. you can, like, oh, he's. You're work, he's you're building. Figuring he's it working. Out. Yeah, he's figuring it out. Absolutely. I, I think because he grew, he's younger. He grew up in an age where people blow up on yeah. the internet. Oh, that was my point. Is that I think that's uh that's the a problem of of it's indicative of this generation of hip hop is that again the bar is too low. Yeah. Like before, like if you're coming up in Detroit in the '90s, you yeah. know you, there was a battle scene. You, there was an active scene that you, you had, had to, to be a real motherfucker. You had to, yeah. you had to participate, <laughs> yeah. and you had to you had to have presence, and there was there was hoops that you had to jump through if you wanted to be an MC. And yep. now all you need is a SoundCloud channel. Yeah. That's the problem. I Instagram. Think. He didn't yeah, understand account. that 
I had to explain to him that like your money is going to come from performing. It's not going to be people listening selling. On, yeah. Yeah. Like, and he, he did not understand that because he grew up in this generation where like he just gets everything from the internet. And, yeah. You don't get album, like album sale money does not yeah. really go to you. <laughs> no, not at all. <clears throat> um, and I, <sighs> that's why bands tour so much. Yeah. And it's exhausting. It seems mm-hmm. like, yeah. yeah. but he, I don't think everybody can do it. Maybe I'm just becoming more cynical as time goes on, but like, I think this kid could do it because he's put the work in to make the music and if the music's not bad either like i listen to music i'm like oh, okay i see i'm too old for it uh when i listen to it it's got too much young pep and, and aggression for me i'm tired give us a little sample I'm what tired. did it sound no 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 i want you to verbally give us a little sample of what his music sounded like i like the beat and and the rhythm and the george i'm not you i'm not i'm i cannot beatbox and rap and shit like that what are you talking about what do you mean you definitely can rap. I can't beatbox. Really? Really. Try. <clears throat> Nick Lanny can beatbox. Everybody can beatbox. There you go. That's yeah. shit beatbox. It's still beatboxing. Yeah. I mean, we can refine your technique, and you should hold the breath into your mouth so you get a real, like a real solid 808 kick. All right. Okay, teach me. How do I make that? You purse your lips together, and you pop it. That's it. You you want the you sound? You got bitch ass lips, bro. You want the sound to be generated <laughs> essentially in your mouth because when you do it into the mic, it sounds messy. So you go. We also need an intro song. Uh, oh, I think shit. we're beyond that. I think we should do a closing song when we're done. Okay, all right. Do you want to do for a the song? for the real ones that listen, you right? Know? For the, if you made it all the way through, yeah. I mean, we should wrap this up because we got shit to do. Also, this was this a good memorial. episode. Yeah, this was fun. We didn't even need an intro. So yeah, exactly. That's why I thought about it. I, I did think about it, but I was like, no, we're we're in it. Already. We're already yeah, in. Yeah, we're already so. in the mix. Are you yeah. still looking for uh, Good Night Ricky? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for his music for when we. When good we Night Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Machine Pistol Paul. Here it is. Ruger. <laughs> Ruger rap. <laughs> Oh, that's a great production studio. Ruger Rap. Ruger Rap. Yeah. All right. Rap Ruger. Yeah, yeah, I found a song. Do you want to hear it or do you want to play it off of? Do we need his permission? Oh, yeah. We'll we'll listen to it after. (laughs) Okay. All right. But uh, we'll we'll close this out. Are you you guys ready? Let's match pitch. We talked about good night, Jake, and then we sat around. We listened to his sound after all of these stopping and acting like clowns. But that's Jake and Aaron and George and Will. We got the porridge. <sighs> that was fucking dumb. That was the end, huh? That, yeah, was, that was really, yeah. that petered out really We got bad. porridge, huh? Yeah, we got that porridge. That was how you ended We got porridge. We don't have bread. We, nah. You could use everything else and you chose porridge. We're baby bear, mama bear, and papa bear. Oh, okay. Porridge. Who's Goldilocks? Uh, good night, Jake. All right. Fair enough. Uh, follow me at One Eared Elephant. Aaron Chase 90. I'm at the George F. We are at the Buddy System Co. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.